Hey, um, I'm going to, hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm recording the second part or part two to my videos or the book I'm, I was finished, I just finished reading. Um, this is December 28th of uh, 2020. We've gone through the whole COVID thing. And actually because of the COVID thing, I really haven't had time to do any videos or anything on YouTube. Sorry, I just finished eating. And um, I don't, actually I only think I've made one I don't know, maybe, well, no, I did a couple of ham radio ones in the summertime, but maybe I've made three videos since March. I don't know. So um, I'm going to start doing some more, and um, I wanted to wrap this up. I just finished reading this uh, Lexham English Septuagint. I did a video back in May on that I had gotten halfway through it. I got it in like January, end of January, beginning of February, and I figured I'd read it. Well, I started getting reading it decent, and then COVID hit, and it slowed me way down. Uh, I got about halfway through it in May, and again, just with my job, and, and it's just one of those things that um, I ended up just just not having time. So i um, trying to hopefully start doing some more, but um, I want, the first video I wanted to do was to finish this book. <clears throat> So I'm not going to go too deep. I've already gone a minute and a half. Um, if you look at my other video, I think I thought I did an unboxing video of this. I can't remember. And I know I did a part one of reading it. And I'm not going to go through everything. Um, I think I made it through Kings last time. And now I've, uh, as of the 20s, uh, the day before, I don't know, day after Christmas, whatever it was, I finally finished um, the last book, which is, in this book, the last book is... Um, alternate text to Daniel. Um, so, I just wanted to close this out uh, with the other video. Everything that I said in the other video is still the same for this part of the video. The second half was pretty much the same as the first. Um, I I gotta say, I, I, I like the fact that Enoch was in there, at least that version of Enoch. It was a Greek version. Um, it was nice to have in there. I thought it was fine. Because if, if you do anything with the New Testament, uh, with Jude, I believe it is, references Enoch, and it's nice to have it in there. And it does have an alternate reading of Tobit and Daniel, which includes Su uh, Susanna and um, Bell and the Dragon. So, um, yeah, I guess that was kind of cool that was in there. So um, I think a couple people have given them a little flack for having those in there because the original Septuagint doesn't have Enoch, whatever. Uh, I like the fact that they put it in, so that's, that's kind of cool. The size is great. It's still a good book to carry around if you wanted to carry an Old Testament around. Um it's it's a good size. It's barely it's a perfect size actually, but in order to make it this size, they had to make the text uh, very small. Um, hopefully you can see that relatively okay. It is small. Actually, I opened up the Psalms, which aren't bad, but when you get into uh, you know some other stuff, like I've already mentioned in my other video, it gets really tight. I'm 53 years old now. I'm having some trouble with eyesight, and um, I have to use readers when I read this version. So. To close out uh, this book, um, I think it's still worth getting, uh, especially for the cost. I think it was like twenty-five dollars, and it's a decent, um, it's a decent um, hardbound edition. Um, I think they made it a little too tight on the binding, so uh, on the edge it opens up a little bit over time. So I noticed, like when I have this sitting, the end, this the opened end is is bigger than this closed end. Um, and some of it's starting to give a little bit here. I noticed that. So maybe the quality isn't great, but it's, it's good enough, especially for the money. Uh, for the money, I think it's a great, it's a great buy. Even if you don't care much for this version, <coughs> I mentioned it uses some real contemporary words like lunch and, uh, uh, something, there's a couple others that just threw me off a little bit. Like, uh, uh, I don't even know what they were now. They just, they, they're very contemporary words that tend to like whoa that doesn't sound right um, but that's just for me reading a lot of different old te older texts somebody who hasn't done that and read this read this version would probably be fine with it but um, um, and I put it on my rating scale for different versions of the Bible it's on my website and it sits at like a 70 percent or ac accurate not accuracy but you know the little the little the little um, rubric I, I put through it and so it's a decent volume to use to research with and stuff like that. Is it my go-to Old Testament? No. I, I'd love it if it was because it's a nice size and I'm glad they made this, but it's not. I, I prefer Bre Benton, Brenton's Septuagint better. 
but whatever. Um, I think I showed my old version, uh, my version of Britain's print. I, I printed it myself. It's an eight and a half by eleven paper, so it's a little bulky. And uh, but I tell you what, what's nice about it is uh, you can see it. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> no, I do not have COVID. Uh, just a little congested. Ah, uh, so. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up. It's been five minutes. Um, I just wanted to do this video to say that I did finish the book. I found it uh, good enough as far as um, if you needed to refer to something, it's it's good to use. Sorry, I keep forgetting to look at the camera instead of looking at myself on the screen. <clears throat> um, is it my preferred Old Testament? No. However, I will refer to it. Um, you know, I still wish that I won't get into that whole thing. Sorry. So I'm, I'm rambling a little bit. But uh, basically, I want to say that I finished it. I think it's definitely worth the money. I think it's still like $25 here, you know, maybe a little more, maybe up to $30 um, on uh, Amazon. I think that, that Amazon's where I got it from. These people who make these usually do online stuff, but they decided, I guess, to make a book. So I um, thought that was pretty cool. I Again, I, I think it's worth the money. It's not great. It's definitely good, very good. And it's definitely worth the money. I would highly suggest if you're into any kind of Christian studies at all, um, I would definitely pick it up. So that's my kind of little lame ending video for this book. I, I said everything I needed to say in the first part one because part two really didn't change a lot except for the fact that I, I think it was a really good decision to include some of that extra text. I thought that was a really good decision. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, definitely pick it up if you have the chance. I definitely, if you're watching these kind of videos, I think it would be worth your while. So uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll see more videos from me coming soon. Um, and the drought will hopefully be over on that. So uh, again, thanks for watching.